last January, I wouldn't have given you five cents for me to be here at Easter. I guess you tend to look at the dark side, think of the worst. How would you feel given just six months to live after 61 years, six months to live, to love, and to make some of your final memories? Well, it was frightening, thinking, well, that's all the time we have left after all these years. Take it from Mina and Gordon Fish. It wasn't a hopeful time for them just months ago. Oh, well, maybe that she just wouldn't last, you know. After surviving breast cancer, an oncologist recently diagnosed Mina with terminal lung cancer, giving her just six months to live. It, it was a shocker. It really was, wait a minute, six months? Uh, hey, I've got things to do. I've got to, I've got to get with this. Things have changed for them going into this holiday season. We got so much support. It's really pretty good. The cancer is still there, but growing much slower, and their outlook has improved. Hospice. It was once a scary word for them. It's, it's a very final word. Hi there. Hi, Gordon. How are you? Not so final because Mina has beaten the odds. It gave me well, six months and we've already exceeded that twice now. Hospice isn't necessarily an end to life for everyone. It can mean hope. It's about um, taking the disease on its natural course and taking it day by day. Just because somebody comes onto hospice doesn't mean that, that the hope has to be lost. Day by day, Rachel Miller assists in-home patients. Are you hurting anywhere today? But not every patient is like Mina. Some are in the last stages of life and hospice is there for them. It's really about patient choice. In the hospital, it's, um, you know, that's a, a, an environment where they're basically all focused on, you know, prolonging your life. Uh, whereas hospice, we're, we're caring for folks in their own home, um, helping the families to actually care for, for their loved ones. Some, sometimes families don't cope well. And for the family, hospice is there for them as well. It's a holistic approach that doesn't just focus on the person looking for medical care. Hospice provides chaplains, social workers, and additional support when and where needed. It is about death and dying, um, but at the same time, it is about life too. Hospice believes the last months, the last weeks, the last moments are all about living them to the fullest with those that you love. Rather than having to be the caregiver and lose somebody, they can just be a family member. It's not that easy on the other side either. Rachel has worked in hospice for nine years and still recalls some of the patients she has had to say goodbye to. Sometimes um, it's the families that are so inspiring but they do it with such grace that um, it can be really inspirational. But it's also about boundaries, realizing that this is her profession. You have to be able to be empathetic and be present for them, but really realizing that this is their time. And sometimes it is just simply their time. I think it's a natural part of life. Our culture has shoved death um, and made it very clinical. If we don't look at it, then it's not there. Um, but everyone is going to die. Facing life and death has become somewhat of a life lesson for Rachel. I think appreciating what you have, really appreciating the people in your life and the relationships that you have, because you just don't know when those relationships um, are going to be gone. Gordon and Mina Fish are spending their time appreciating each other. They are still facing the unknown themselves, but they are doing it together and they are doing it quite well. It's, it's been a wonderful experience, just a really great experience. The hospice people take excellent care of me, but the key to the whole thing is I feel better. I really feel good. The improvement has been so great, and it gives you the idea there's hope for you. You know, if you really get bad off, there is somebody to really look out for you and help you, help you, help you do it.